Hi guys, I'm going to have another go at lighting an LED by making that little electric motor into a generator driven off the back wheels of the rubber van powered car. I'm going to change these back wheels for different CDs because I rather like these but I want to put a pulley on the outside. So I've cut out a cardboard disc or two cardboard discs, a thin one and a thick one. That will be the inside of the pulley and then so on a different wheel I'll just glue the cardboard disc on first and then that one over the outside and then we'll see if we can drive that motor with a belt or a rubber band around it and see if we get a better result because when it's just driven off the back wheels because they wobble around a bit we're not getting a continuous drive whereas if we get a pulley on there and a rubber, rubber band we should get a better drive so the LED should stay alight longer here we are so we've got our nice big pulley rubber band round the shaft of the motor and I've got a little bit of uh, paper clip there just to stop the rubber band slipping off the end and same setup as before I will put the camera on the car again I'll just give it a little bit of a wind up see if we can actually get the LED to flash while we're looking at it So, much better. That was a mistake. I put the camera on the front so we could look back at the LED but that meant we got wheel spin then because we hadn't got the weight over the back wheels. So I'll have to put the camera back on the back. Summary time, well it works much better with the pulley setup. Uh, if you do watch the video and get confused, we do have a flashing red LED on the camera, but this is the one we're supposed to be watching. So if I just let that go, yeah, that's what we're looking for. And it works. So, pleased with that. That was easier than trying to fit gears on it. Gears are far more complicated, simply because you need to be far more accurate for them to mesh properly, whereas a pulley with a rubber band gives you a fair amount of flexibility. So I suppose I'd better just cover it. It's a plastic spirit level from Poundland that I've used for lots of my rubber band powered cars. CDs for wheels, bamboo canes for the axles, rubber tyre off a toy car on the front there for a bit of uh, damage limitation. Uh, these CDs have got bits of plywood stuck to them so we can just drill a hole in the middle for the axles. Uh, CDs on the back have got my usual plastic bottle tops or bottle caps hot glued in place. And this CD has got a thick piece of cardboard, slightly smaller diameter than the CD, 
just there and then another piece of cardboard on the outside so we've just got one big pulley there rubber band I actually had to join two together so it was long enough and it goes round the motor if I unhook it and spin it the right way so that's a nice little motor that also works as a generator just as an added bonus to show that that is an ordinary electric motor I've got a single double A battery there spinning the back wheels and if we put it down we have an electric powered car a little bit slow but then we're only using one and a half volts to drive it So there you go, quick conversion to electric power. Just as an added bonus to show that that is an ordinary electric motor, I've got a single AA battery there spinning the back wheels. And if we put it down, we have an electric powered car. A little bit slow, but then we're only using one and a half volts to drive it. Electric power.